Hey guys, this is Dan with the Beer Guys. I've got another beer reaction for you guys today. And today I'm going to be doing one of the four beers that were in the uh, craft beer mystery bag that I purchased um, last weekend. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you go to our Instagram, um, there is actually a video posted on there of me opening said bag. Another reason you should be following us on Instagram is you get to see all the cool beers that Darren, Kevin, and myself are drinking that we feel you guys would like to see as well. Also a bunch of other cool content that we as beer lovers feel like you as beer lovers will also like to enjoy. So go over there, check it out. You'll see me opening that bag. You'll also see a picture of all four cans lined up next to each other. Um, and you can see all the cool artwork on them, which I love cool beer can artwork. So if you do, highly recommend you go check out our Instagram. That'd be awesome. So today we're gonna do the uh, Rob Roy Scotch Ale, um, made by Walkerville Brewery in Windsor, Ontario. Um, it is a seven percent uh, beer. Um, so besides like the cool, like the really cool looking uh, artwork on the front of the can, it has a really nice description also on the back of the can of this ale. Um, this is it's a truly historic ale. Uh, Rob, Roy is, Rob Roy Ale is a strong Scotch ale that has its roots traced back to 1939 when it was originally made by the Walkerville Brewery Limited. The actual image on the front of the can here is a rendition of their original label on their bottles, which that's really cool to me as a guy that I like finding out about brewery history. Um, so that's really cool to me that this brewery is that connected with the history that they're using that label still. Um, this multi award winning Scotch Ale is handcrafted. The beer is a dark ruby color, so we'll get to see if that's the case. Um, it is a smooth drinking, dry roast character, has a full finish, slancha. So, yeah, so. We're expecting a dark, ruby-colored uh, ale. Um, since it is a Scotch ale, I also expect it to be a bit on the maltier side of things. Um, so let's let's dive into this can, guys, and see what this historic ale has in store for us. So we're gonna pour this into the glass here. Let's see what we got. Again, we're looking for a dark ruby color. Let's see here. See it pouring it into my Innis gun glass, which I feel like is a good combination for the Scotch Ale, right? All right. So definitely, definitely got that dark dark, dark ruby color. Um, it is, yeah, it's definitely a dark ruby color. Um, so you got the nice ring of foam there on the top there, so the head there looks really nice. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely a dark ruby color. I'm not sure if it's translating over for you guys um, as well as I would like it to, but uh, it's definitely, definitely a dark red ruby color. So it definitely has a, a sweet multi taste to it, or smell to it. But yeah, no, that's definitely what I'm picking up. I'm picking up that, that malt that I thought was going to be there with it being a scotch ale um, and it being a bit sweeter smelling. So yeah, so color wise, they called it. Smell wise, it smells good. Let's give it a taste because that's what is king when it comes to beers, right? So let's give it a try.
it definitely tastes like Scotia. <laughs> um, I guess if you've had one, you know what I mean. Um, it's just the aging process of, of the Scotch ales. Um, they're generally aged in uh, whiskey or bourbon casks, um, which if the name of the brewery brought words to you, uh, Walkerville, um, and it being from Windsor, uh, yes, that forms well. If you don't know what I'm connection I'm making there, um, Harlem Water. Um, so yeah, that's that's that there. Um, taste that. There is the malty taste at the end that I was expecting. Um, it's not super overly powering. Um, it does have a nice, clean, full body, like they're saying. But I'm definitely getting like the like kind of vanilla taste um, that. I've had before from um, Scotch ales in the past, so that's there. It's like I said, it's it, it's definitely the, uh, a smooth beer, um, which with it being a multi thing, again, that's I, I was kind of worried at the start about it because I've had multi beers in the past that have come off you know, super multi. Which, this one to be honest guys, really, the, the, the malt just comes in at the end. Um, and it's, it's, it's there, you taste it, so it's, it's, it's good. Um, and it doesn't linger too long, which again is nice, because I've had, again, some malts that, they sit there, and after a while you're kind of like, mm. But uh, yeah, so who I think will enjoy this beer? You like Scott Shales? Of course, again, this is uh, a trend there. If, if you like that type of beer, you're gonna like this beer. Um, if you like a maltier beer um, that has a really nice looking color to it um, and a nice, like, um, clean taste with um, kind of a nice hint of vanilla to it, you will like this beer. Um, I don't think we'll like this beer. Again, if you don't like Scotch Ales, again, that's a blanket and easy comment. Um, if you do not like a malty aftertaste, um, it might not be for you. But, like, really, that's all I can find and grasp at who I don't think would like this. Like, I think if you're on the fence on them, grab one and give it a try. and. And see if it is, if, it's, if if you like it. Like it's it's this is actually solid, guys. Um, but yeah, that's about what I can say about it for uh, who I don't think would like it because yeah, I guess if if you're not you don't like craft beers, maybe I guess I guess that would be a thing. But that's really it. Like, yeah, and even then, I would say try it. Like it's it's this is this is really good. Um, so again, guys, um, Rob Roy Scotch Ale, um, Walkerville Brewery, Windsor, Ontario, uh, 7%. Definitely has the color they're suggesting. Ale that has history behind it. I say you come across a can, bottle, pint, wherever you may be find it, I say grab one, give it a try, and let me know what you think. All right, guys, so this is Dan with Beer Guys saying, we always say, life is short for just one beer. Let's launch. You guys, as fellow beer lovers, would also enjoy, like, me opening that craft bag that I didn't know was in it. There's four beers. We'll be looking at the uh, Rob Roy Scotch Ale, um, made by... Walkerville Brewing. Um, yeah, 
Canaries screwed that up. 